Many people have been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. New plan? Hmm. As a part of this new plan's content... <gasps> what? You can play Ocarina of Time on the Switch! Is it, it, it going to be like 64 stuff? It is, it's 64 yeah. stuff! 64! Oh, I'm oh, so excited! I was just wanting this so the bad! Nintendo 64 system oh. 25 years ago. Oh, oh, Star Fox 64? Fuck yeah, baby! Day has come. As well as intense four player multiplayer action. <laughs> With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games. Oh, uh, sweet. Or online. We can play Star Fox together. Dude, are you going to release a 64 controller? Also, with this new membership oh. plan, in addition They'd have to, to Nintendo 64 games. Huh? Wait. Oh, Sega? Sega. What? Sega. Yeah, I, never, I didn't play hardly any Sega games. That'd be great. Collection of games oh. from Sega's Genesis system. I mean, there were Genesis games Fuck. on the yeah, Wii Shop, but baby. still. That shit's crazy. Oh, this means Streets of Rage, isn't it? Yeah, Streets games of Rage, Echo of the Dolphin. You'd like. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership. Fuck yeah, I'll get your as membership. Well as the ability to play the included oh, Nintendo damn. 64 I saw the controller. Genesis I know, you did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that controller, man. This is Nintendo that was Switch like your online New Year's plus. dream <laughs> celebration. <laughs> yeah. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Like, of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Dude, also, no. those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new in plan. In a month! Starting in a month? We'll share more details about this new membership plan at That's a later time, like. including the exact release date and pricing information. Okay, there's no release date then. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available oh, when it launches. Ooh, like, yes. cool. Oh, fuck Good. yeah. Be able to play the Nintendo Yoshi Wii Story game too. Shown here. I never played Yoshi Story, so that's a cool one. Oh, Castlevania Ooh, Bloodlines, Contra Hearts of Warp. Shit. Echo the Dolphin. Rage 2. We'll also Strider. continue God damn, that's Nintendo Nintendo Ooh, games. Games. Shinobi 3. Thank you. Majora's Mask. And F-Zero X. Yeah, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. Come on, snap. Forward. Fuck yeah, the original one. Oh, there's Kirby 64. Yeah. Right, Paper Mario. Paper Mario. Banjo-Kazooie. Oh. <laughs> Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers. Nintendo's just like, wait, wait. Gonna make yes! The <laughs> there they you did! Go. I'm so happy I want them! I want hey, both! What about the six button both Genesis controller though? Wirelessly. Damn it. These controllers. Oh, I'm getting oh, at crazy. least one. I'm probably getting. Oh, I don't man. need the Genesis one as bad, but I definitely want the 64 one. I need both gonna get you to play Ocarina of Time on Switch with that. Yeah, I'm gonna get four. <laughs> I'm gonna get four of them. Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh man, I'm so I'm glad happy. they did a controller. I'm happy, baby. You can end it. There's plenty We're done. To play in these collections. Hang on, <sighs> there might be something I'm interested in. Calvin, shut up. I'm super excited for the 64, like... I am most hyped for that. Console, like, virtual console-y kind of thing. Like, I, I like playing, like, me and the kids started playing, like, uh, Donkey Kong and stuff. And I finally got, because they brought back the Super Nintendo controllers, so I bought some of those. And we were playing, like, Donkey Kong uh, on the Super Nintendo with Super Nintendo controllers. And it was great, and it felt good. Yeah. And I really liked it. So I'm really excited on, like... Like, I still have my 64, but... Controllers have been sure. worn yeah. down, and I yeah. don't have any of that stuff anymore. And I just recently was like, man, I, I've been watching a lot of Ocarina of Time speed runs and and stuff, and I really, really just want to play the game. What do I got to do to get to it? Uh, I don't have any of this stuff right now. Sure. I mean, I maybe I could dig out a, a 3DS and do the, the the new version of it, but this is the OG version here. Sure. 64. Man. It's crazy. See, you know how they breathe new life into that too is if you go in if if Nintendo actually helped to support so that you didn't have to mod mm -hmm. and made it where like if you went into that on the Switch you know I don't know if you've done the uh, NES or Super, Super Nintendo ones but lots of times they have here is the game of yeah. Castlevania or whatever it yeah. is and then here's like a challenge version of it where it's like a certain level or something and it's mm. harder or whatever imagine if you could go into Ocarina of Time but instead of choosing Ocarina, Ocarina of Time you can pick the other one the yeah. other one lets you randomize, so you could actually play yeah. a like Nintendo supported randomized cool. Ocarina of Time run or something. Like they yeah. should do that, and it breathes more life into like that, and they don't have to have the. That would be fun if they're the against modding the modding. Community. Just support that kind of thing because people speed yeah. on that stuff all the time. I'm guessing it's just base game Ocarina of Time and not like 
will they have an option for master mode that came out like there's like a there's a disc that came out for Ocarina that was time, on the right before though. right before Wind Waker came out yeah and it had like a master's quest yeah things were just harder yeah I wonder the, if, but that's technically was on the GameCube so yeah that's I what know. I was saying that was on the GameCube when that yeah. came out and they had like a two disc thing yeah. so they might not I don't know but yeah. there's nothing to say they don't go into GameCube stuff in the future too at some point yeah definitely I'm super excited about it. Like, I want to play Ocarina of Time. Mario 64 is great, but I think overall Genesis, like the games that yeah. are going to be at launch for that overall, yeah. is stronger. Like, there's some real bangers on that Genesis list. I'm trying to find it. I mean, there's Streets of Rage. There was uh, Shinobi. Streets of Rage. There's Shinobi Three, like Golden Axe, Castlevania Bloodlines was on there. Echo the Dolphin, um, but I can't remember the others. I mean, do you say that as someone? Did you have a Sega? A Genesis, or like, or like have you played those? Or did you, yeah. like because sixty four wise, like you might not have played as many. Like Ocarina of Time, Sweetie. I feel like it's pretty big. Oh, I think yeah, Super sure. Mario sixty four isn't as big because they just had that All Star one come out. Yeah. So like it was just people have had access to it. You know, it's not like oh man, sixty four. I can't believe it. Sure, but like Star Fox sixty four, I think is really cool. The idea of like Pokemon Snap in the future is good for people. Oh yeah, no, I. Like, the future is great, I think. But just as far as launch, I think the Genesis might have the stronger launch. Maybe. I think you're biased. And I'm biased. <laughs> Maybe. And we're both right. <laughs> <laughs> and both wrong. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, no, I don't know. It's uh, like I'm just thinking, like, man, you could have 64 of uh, GoldenEye, right? You could have GoldenEye sure. on there. Mm-hmm. And now Eventually. I can play split screen per- on like a dark. 55 inch TV instead of a yeah. fucking little. You know, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh. Uh, was Paper Mario one of the future ones or was that a launch one? Um, I don't remember. But it definitely was listed at some point. But that's exciting. I do like those games quite a bit. Conquer's yeah. Bad Fur Day. Now, I mean, yeah, Conquer's Bad Fur Day would be pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. There's so many 64 games that you could have, so it's, it's to me, exciting to have just some of those. Because for me, the kids, like I've been trying to take my kids through some of the old retro games that I grew up with, you know? I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. man, check this out. Look at this. And now I can get them to play some of them. I wonder how much it'll be. Yeah, I don't know, because it's like a new plan and stuff, and they said they'd have more announcements for that in the future as far as the exact release date and how much and everything. So, yeah. No, it was pretty good. It was a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm most excited about the N64 stuff coming, you know? Yeah. Like being yeah. able to get those new, not new, but getting Zelda games that are, it's more accessible, you know? Like mm-hmm. I have Ocarina of Time at home on an N64, but the accessibility on the Switch and yeah, all that. And the controllers are cool. Being I, able to take it with I you. I don't. I don't know how much I want to get. I know I did. I saw some people be like, they're like 50 bucks for a controller. I'm like, yeah, I know. The SNES ones were like, was it 50 for two or something? I forget what it was, but um, no. I, I don't. The NES ones were 50 for two. Is that what it was? Yeah. So the SNES ones were each individually then? Yeah. I yeah, think but the 64 piece, controller right? has an extra handle. Do what? So the That's 64 so controller expensive. has an extra handle, so it costs more. Yeah. It also makes me a little worried that... Um, X. Uh, th- they're only seeming to be doing the three button Genesis controller. Not so the like six if button. They ever release any fighting games for it or anything? You really wanted the six button controller for like high punch, low punch, high yeah. kick. Why low did they kick. make a controller with more buttons? For more? What do you mean? What? I never had a console. I'm asking. Calvin, how many buttons do you have on your com- computer? Uh, a bunch, but. Like, why did they make a controller with, like, three buttons and then later make a controller with six buttons? They realized their mistake. Oh, they just need more buttons. Mistake. I don't know. I don't know. And then yeah. it worked for the old ones because you had the buttons already, and now They're you can make new better. games with more buttons. They can, and also it's an okay. excuse to get everybody to buy more controllers. Sure. So did the, you had like did the six-button con- controller work with the three-button games? Uh, well, which one? Probably. Yeah, it did. Is that the Sega Genesis had both three buttons and six buttons? Uh, I don't know if it had at launch, but uh, there was an official three button controller and official six button controller. 
I liked um, the base one has a, buttons A, B, and C, and then the sixth button had A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Because I think the main thing with that would be like if you played a game that only used three buttons, you're gonna be sorry, you're gonna be A, B, C, and X, Y, Z were just dupl- duplicates of A, B, C. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But then uh, whenever you played a six button game, then they all were different things. Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So. Heck but yeah. now I can stream Ocarina of Time. Yay. You can. You Fuck c- yeah. You could go back and finish playing Mario 64 with a 64 controller, Rick. You could. It might make it better. Probably I, better. It might. I don't know. Hopefully they notch it and everything too because sometimes using the joysticks on like Mario 64 with a yeah. Switch controller. Hopefully they notch it. Sometimes it's a little hard to kind of get the points you want, but those notches were nice on the 64 controller to just have them available. Yeah. I mean, there's part of me that's like, if I'm going to replay Ocarina of Time, do I want to wait and see if they're going to have the 3D version with all of its quality of life improvements, like putting on iron boots, <laughs> you know? Sure. But Like, this is going to be the 64 version yeah, this probably, is the, right? This is the version that I played 50 times, so. Yeah, I imagine I never so. played the, uh, the remake. I, Not remake, remaster. That's when I, I played through it so that you'd stop being like, Aaron never beat the game. I did. Yeah. I'm, good. <laughs> I'm glad you did now. I did both. Yeah. So I had experiences on both of them. But, uh, yeah, no, it's much, much easier in the Water Temple in the new one because of changes they made to the temple and what they did with the boots. I don't approve of changing the temple, but the boots, I like that. I mean, they didn't move anything. They just changed some wall stuff. Were the boots bad? No, you just have to pause... Go over two screens and turn them on, <laughs> and then it's like okay, now you've now you you've gone down. Now you need to flip back up, okay? And now you've taken them off, you know. So instead okay. of that, the three DS version is just press a button, they turn on. Press a button, they turn on. Okay. Yeah, okay. exactly. It was just there was a little button in the corner, and you just tap it, tap it. Yeah. Tap it, tap it. Um, Makes sense. Yeah. 